Welcome, uh, welcome to Live on Patrol. On the uh, 307 to copy, 1876 Magnolia Avenue East, apartment 203 on in progress domestic. Beautiful, Brothers beautiful. outside the address. Hit the comms husband. Comms Full night. Medics. Brother's name is Lewis Cazanar. Something now tells me this the is going to be kitchen knife in his hand is making one of the last ones. So let's make the best of it. It's opening night for the Minnesota Wild. Oh, and the Jets just scored. No. Yeah, okay, four to three, the Jets. 15 minutes and 30 seconds left in the third. All right, well, we came back when it was three to two, so we'll come back when it's four to three. We're well, gonna head down to the Wild uh, Arena down there. Keep some eyes on uh, Area, we have some deputies working down there tonight. I'm sure it's going to be an awesome night for everyone. But tomorrow it's going to be 57 degrees instead of 75. 20 degree dip. Wow. So, hey, on our way down there. I hope all of you read Jane Prince's letter that I posted on both there sides. There's currently a group of 20 to 30 cars at Raspberry Island. Oh, 20 to 30 cars at Raspberry Island. Mark this assistant for now. But uh, that might be the most well-written letter, I, and I and I read a pretty good letter. I mean, believe me, I've written I've read political letters on occasion, but Councilmember Prince's letter was about as well written as I have seen. If you haven't read it, please do. It was outstanding. And thank her. Thank her for uh, what she's done to speak up for public safety. So, uh, that was sent to uh, CEO of Securian on Sunday. I'm having computer issues. And then several business people in downtown got it, and one of the business people sent it to me and on Monday. And I just thought that was such a well written response to the issue that needed to be read by as many people as possible. And I would say 99% of you have. Have thought she did great as well. Absolutely. I, I was honestly surprised it hadn't been published anywhere yet. In the media. Yeah. I was shocked that after 24 hours nobody picked up on it. But. So we are coming into St. Paul on East Seventh Street. No, Kimberly, Bob did not say the last, last on patrol. We were talking about perhaps the last nice weather night. <laughs> no, we, you're stuck with us. Three, six, one. Well, we're call back to say anything. They erect our tombstones. That'll be it. That's right. Tombstone. The information <laughs> squad is en route to Magnolia on a domestic. Sounds like the brother Luis is possibly intoxicated. What inside of apartment 203? The comps waiting outside. Unknown if the brother still has the knife. 
Hey, one thing I did want to say, I was thinking about this. Um, back seaters, you've been awesome. And we appreciate your support and we love having the public safety debate. We love hearing your thoughts on public safety issues, but one thing we don't want to get into, I noticed a post the other week with talking about the governor and the attorney general. I think we got to steer clear of getting too much politics because there's going to be a wide spectrum of opinions about other candidates that don't impact us in the public safety world. And let's just stick to Ramsey County, things within Ramsey County, and leave those statewide issues for another forum. Otherwise, it, it'll otherwise it alienates people that might have different opinions about some other. Let's just keep our discussions and debates to Ramsey and St. Paul. That sound okay, Pat? Absolutely. I think that's a good good plan. And even when you're within Ramsey County and St. Paul, don't be personally insulting. Right. You can disagree with a stance, with an opinion, with a policy, but don't turn it into personal insults against the person. Right. Well said. Well said. Six eight four. Six eight four. Could you send this walk to my location for unoccupied stolen whenever they're available? So the, that's a parking enforcement officer, I think. Six eight four. Yeah. Copy there, Central Squad, like starting at 336 Arlington Avenue West, unoccupied, stolen, Minister License, Fox Rap, Charlie X-Ray, 599, and the Honda CRV, silver in color. By the way, speaking of stolens, Sir Wright made an amazing arrest yesterday. Sir Patrick Wright, clear right, spotted a stolen down on... Edgerton and Case. Right by where that uh, shootout was a couple weeks Same ago. Same location. And he coordinated some other unmarked cars to box it in. They squeezed it between two cars and no pursuit. The driver fled, but Action Alex caught him. He's fast. I was impressed. I didn't see him. <laughs> I didn't see him. But the brains of the operation was was Sir Wright. Clear right, Captain. That was uh, did a great job. Amazing teamwork by all. Deputy Siegelstrom had first spotted it. Yeah. And a lot of us had an idea of some areas where it would go. And I just... I think William, William spotted it too. He was the one that spotted it. Oh, I'm sorry. It was, yeah. yeah Kyle, Williams. Kyle spotted Kyle Williams. I think his mother listens. I think she might be a backseater. I'm not sure. Yeah, he did, he did a great job. Kyle's, and Kyle's we, uh, done an amazing job. And we all had our personal thoughts of where it might show up. and I got to put the handcuffs on. <laughs> well, I'll just leave that, it at that. that. Uh, nah, that's the other part of the story. <laughs> my handcuffs had come out of my belt when I was in the car, and I didn't realize it, so I had to hold on to the one passenger's wrist until Bob got there. He, he, he froze him until... <laughs> I told him, don't you even think of moving. So we're going to tell you a little bit later, we're going to tell you about the shots fired, shots fired at uh, Deputy Siegelstrom here, but we're going to, we'll do that after we get through checking out the, the XL Energy Center. That was uh, quite the uh, frightening. Harrowing experience. Harrowing, well put. A very harrowing experience. He's been fired at once before, went over on Highway 36 in Maplewood, off of White Bear and uh, 61. And he, I believe he was also present at the courthouse when some shots oh. were fired also. So Lucky it, Tom, we're gonna start calling him Lucky Thomas. <laughs> well, those people are leaving the game, that's, that's 
Uh, so we're only down by one still? Or are we gonna... Oh, I gotta, let me check the update here. Still four to three. Nice or, oh, five to three. Oh. The Jets. Twelve, just over 12 minutes plenty left. Plenty of time, plenty of time. We can, we can come back. Plenty of time. Well, it's great to have everybody back. They say it's been 500 plus days since they filled this arena with hockey. Contact. Spetch is calling attempt three for squads. Hyundai Nolia. I'm not. I'm not on that. It's not my. Opinion. It's domestic. They're asking for less lethal. So look at all these squads lined up here, folks. And why would that be? For your safety. For your safety, because the presence of police deters crime. Bottom line. And by the way, Theo, Barney Fife is my hero. Yeah, you never need more than one <laughs> bullet. Well, it looks like the truck bar is open. There you have it. I wasn't sure if they were going to reopen today. I saw my old college football teammate, Pat Bame, run Channel 5 tonight. Photo bomb that guy's picture up there. Three, so they were they got the domestic under control. Copy, four, one detained. Canceling the 10 3 at 21 27. It was a little scary on the first transmission, though. She sure was. Whoa, 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 our parking lots are full. 362, we have one cut the PO at 10 3. There's some deputies. Well, it is government's responsibility to keep people safe. And I'd argue the number one. Number one. Number one priority. Take. Take every. Oh, Tom's got his lot full. Oh, the, Dairy, the Dairy Queen is down and filled that lot up. That's good. Do everything you can mm -hmm. to help keep people safe. Hey guys. Rev, come on over here a minute, Rev. What's happening? Sam, we got yeah, a big got crew. A I from, thought Servatka uh, was working tonight, no? He, he, I think he's out here. He's out here. He's, we, he's got a, out here. we got a full crew. We got a full crew. Got a, uh, Rev Spence is here. Oh, Stormy. Stormy said she got a good price on it, so she's going to sell it. <laughs> she don't have to store it. She told me to tell you. She All right. She's here. All right, thank you. What do you got to say, Rev? How's it been tonight so far? Oh, it's been beautiful. We've had a good time out here. That's good. Yeah. You think they'll be mad if we lose? 
Well, they we're losing five to three. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So. Well, we're gonna stay down here till it empties out and see how it all goes, huh? Yeah, it was a pretty good crowd yeah. before. It was packed. Was it before the game? Yeah. Oh, good. Did the truck park fill up? That's oh, empty, pretty much. It's but kind of empty. Uh, I'll be interested to see what happens Tom there. Tom Reed's was packed, packed and Burger Moe's. Burger Moe's? They were packed. Where'd the guy with the lightsaber go? What to who? The guy with the lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> he went to the game. Okay. Yeah, he was having, right here, you're standing in the spot. I don't know. <laughs> He's having a good time, right? Uh, yeah. Well, beautiful night. Beautiful. I'm afraid it, you're gonna get a. You're gonna get a. You need a coat for the weekend. Yeah, we got a coat though. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hi guys. How are you? Hi. How are you? Good. You, you bailed on him. We were just leaving the wild game, and I said, "Oh, Bob and Pat are on." Yeah. Five <laughs> to three, you bailed on him, huh? <laughs> well, we're gonna go finish. Rock and you only see yeah. Bob. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, there you go. There you go. Look the other way, please. Yeah. Well, your, your face isn't on camera f during yeah, that. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm not afraid. You going to Reed's then to finish yeah. off? Yeah. Good spot. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for yeah. stopping yeah. and saying hi to us. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for stopping. Thank you. Well, we're going to drive up and see here what the truck park yeah, looks like. We're walking. All right, we'll see you up there. Sammy, thanks. See you. See ya. Thank you. Jose, thanks. Well... You know, I gotta say, these security guys did a hell of a job. Yeah, wrestling the one guy. Wrestling the one gunman. Yeah, it takes courage to wrestle somebody. Are you one of the? Are you one of the guys who wrestled with him? <laughs> you are. Well done. Yeah, call him out here. For real. I was uh, one of the girl that died. I was the one who was checking her for blood, but I guess she was already dead already. So I'm ex military, so that was the first thing I was doing. I was giving people my shirt and stuff. But this Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for what you guys cool, did. What did I do? Man. You the wrestle those guys to the ground. We saw some job. video. You we guys. saw some video. You, The guy in the white, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was pure instinct. Well. That was that was some pure skill and I some gun and, I in. and some pure courage too, sir. Yeah. I get it from my family. Well, God that's bless good. you. If y'all looking for a story, look up Dennis Lamont Winfield Jr. All right, that's my bigger brother. Okay, he was murdered over in Brooklyn Center probably almost ten years ago. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. He did the same thing. I'm sorry. He did the same thing. So that's well. what we do. I wasn't trying to be. I just seen well, that gun, man, and I said it was enough shooting, and I just wanted it to stop. It was way too crazy. I was standing out here, and he was standing right there. We thought it was motorcycles going. We, we thought both, it was something. We were like, then it was a pause, then we turn around. I'm like, yeah. oh, I see a shooter. I run, I try to run in, but people are sprinting out. So yeah. I, thought, I don't know how you even got through. I don't know. Bro. I, you know, I know you're gonna hate the word, and you're gonna hate me saying it, but damn it, you're a hero, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. Take care, guys. Thank you. Yeah, that was that was something to watch. I mean, it was like no hesitation.
So you can see some of the fans are leaving. I don't know how much time is left in the game, but in a minute they'll all be out here. I hope it's not a copyrighted song. <laughs> Tommy Barrett over there. I don't know if that's him. But... Limo for hire. That was pretty cool talking to the security guards that were there that night. dead for a minute. Got a good crowd of backseaters today. Two one nine two six yeah. seven. Two one nine two six seven. And what do you think? There'll be more backseaters jumping in after the game's over, huh? Oh, I have no doubt. Well, well, we got any room back here? <laughs> Next thing we have to worry about down here is, and we've always had to worry about it, is traffic accidents. Right. Because there's a lot of people on foot, a lot of people in cars. Well, the wild came back. It's five to four. Oh. We better, we better, we better stay on top of it. Four fifty-eight remaining. That might be some. Okay. People who are upset they left early. How's it going? Thank you. 458 remaining. By the way, for those of you that aren't from our city, this is United <laughs> Hospital. We have a United Health, United Hospital. Here. Can be detained and um, we'll be transporting the suspect to when we deal with the second Copy, good threats of violence. We transported the suspect to the LHC when they're done. Final night. And on the back side here is Children's Hospital. They work collectively together. Call 324-382-Tango. Right here at Children's Hospital. Down here in the loop. 
the emergency room for Children's Hospital. You see the Mother Baby Center up there? Great hospital. Great hospital. And I got to tell you, when little Bob was very young, I mean very young, we're talking 10 days a week, maybe even less than that. I wish I could remember exactly the day. All I can tell you is I remember what happened. Little Bob was not eating properly from a bottle or nursing, no matter what. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, well, it must be, you know, he's just, you know, he's not ready to eat, you know. But, you know, babies are supposed to eat, right? right. My wife just said, no, we are, we're going to go check it out. We're going down to Children's Emergency Room. I mean, we're talking about a little baby. I don't know, maybe my wife can text me how old he was at that time. So we go down to the emergency room and Dr. Ace here at Children's Hospital, who I, I kind of knew from law enforcement as well, Dr. Ace was concerned. And she said, well, we're gonna get an ultrasound see what's going on inside that little boy six days old yeah he was six days that was about a week we're gonna get an ultrasound to find out what's going on he wasn't gaining weight he wasn't eating properly he would eat a little bit and he kind of throw it up so they did an ultrasound and they said he has a malrotation of his intestines which basically means the intestines are rotated so they're blocked so no food could go through oh that's and frightening frightening and not not only that because of the malrotation there's a lack of circulation in that area so i remember my wife's face i had to catch her before she fell to the ground when the doctor said we have to do an immediate surgery every hour that we wait increases the possibility that he might his intestines might die. Oh, wow. And he might have a bag for life. Ooh. So, my wife, when she heard that, she collapsed and uh, she was in a state of shock as I was. They put him ahead of the surgery schedule. They got him in, they operated, they pulled all his intestines out, they reorganized and put him back in. He's got about, to this day, he's got a two inch scar on his right, right by the appendix. He, the doctor said, the surgeon said, ah, I took the appendix out as long as I was in there, just so you won't ever have a problem with it. <laughs> and he's had no problem ever since. But just goes to show women's mother's intuition, because I would have waited a day. And my wife would not let me wait a day. Good for her. So I get tearful just thinking about it. Oh, I can't imagine. Anyhow, yeah, you know, great hospital. Point And little Bob, of course, now is 16 years old, healthy as all get out. It's a trailer, bro. That one is it? Oh no. Now we're gonna sit right in front, right here, for a few minutes. You good with that, Pat? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Let the wild fans know we're here. Thank, thank you. you very much. Oh, thank you. <coughs> Appreciate it. Thanks, Sheriff. Thank you. Thank you. How's it going tonight? We got a good rush pregame. We're probably expecting one right now again. So see how it goes. <coughs> we'll be here. What? We'll be here. Awesome. Thank Thanks. you, guys. All right. Nice to see you guys in person. Have <coughs> a good you. one. Hey, wondering if you have any extra spare masks. No? The Uber here, won't I... let us take one without them. Who? Uber. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> 
Please and thanks. I'll take this. All right. I always uh, make it a point to say what up to you guys. Uh, I, I I know you've probably seen me a couple times, but yeah, yeah. I uh, know Shane, by the way. Uh, dude, hey, you, guys, you guys are awesome. Thanks, Shane. Thanks, thanks yeah, for no, saying I, that. I appreciate what you guys do. Thank you very much. Appreciate uh, it. Where are you headed uh, now? What's that? Where are you headed? You going here? Truck uh, part? No, I, I just grabbed a drink here. Uh, I, I'm friends. I bartend down in this area <coughs> myself. And, oh, you do? Uh, so I'm, I'm friends with a lot of these guys. And Good. So I, I wanted to come support the uh, the cause. I mean, I know it's it may be a little premature, but... No, it's, uh, it's important. Opening wild game. Everybody needs to get out and support these businesses, so it's good. It's not their fault. Carson said he's like, I just asked him. I was like, yeah, it seems a little early. He's like, well, we had to rip the Band-Aid off at one point, so. There you go. I don't know. There you go. Let's, you know, you never know when the right time is. Definitely see uh, see a greater presence down here tonight, though. I mean, I mean with the wild yeah. game and everything. Yeah. But. Yeah, I mean, ironically, what? wild fans are usually pretty well controlled. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I was telling people is like, Honestly, it, I, I know you guys kind of predicted it and everything, but like, this is this doesn't really happen down this way. Right. And like, you know, for the most part, the the crowd has been pretty decent yeah. over the course of time. I know we saw a little bit of a shift, but you know. Well, part of it's people are coming here from other bars that close at twelve. You exactly. Know? Yeah. So they say rush down here at ten to twelve, and it's. Uh, but that's you. You guys, they'll figure. Carson, he'll figure it out. He'll figure it out, you know. You guys going right now? Or? Yeah, we're yeah, live right now. Yeah. We're live right now. No, I, uh, I've been watching since last year. I think I saw your, I think I started watching your third stream. Really? Uh, and then oh, me and my you. buddy, uh, my buddy Alex, who's in uh, Kuwait right now. He's with the National Guard. But he's uh, he's in Kuwait right now. And uh, we we would stay in on Friday nights over over COVID and stuff and, uh, and follow your streams and stuff. And, uh, oh, we, we, had, uh, we had a great time watching that tell alex thanks for his service yeah I no, he's, he's out in kuwait right now and he's a he's a tanker he's uh he drives tanks and whatnot so that's uh, cool he's he's been he's been following and showing all of his buddies uh what, who, who what didn't he? know about you guys <laughs> he's been telling all of them and so they they're watching over there right now i'm sure oh thank you oh, thank him for his service yeah us. we hope we can give him a little view of america you know by i know what? man it's it's kind of crazy yeah but no, I live in Lower Town myself. I, I bartend at the at the Ox Cart down there, and yeah. so uh, okay. we're we're gonna be opening the downstairs, and hopefully that goes well. But uh, no, I, I appreciate everything that you guys do. You guys give it a little bit different view of uh, of, of the service. So, yeah. No, it's, it's thank good. you. Thanks thank a you. lot. Thanks hey, a lot. Appreciate you guys. Have a good night, Shane. Nice man. Yeah, very much so. Nice man. Are you trying to get us to move or what? <laughs> Move along. Move along. Oh, yeah. What's going Stole on, Mike Cervatka? Stolen car, deputy extraordinaire. Between Pat can find him and you pit him. <laughs> I remember. Hey, is Cervatka on the air? Can he come down here? <laughs> I, I was tied up the other day. I'm like, I can't. I got it. You, I cannot leave my desk. Oh, I, I so wanted you there. Uh, <laughs> just in case you didn't know, we are live. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, everybody. Beautiful night out. Gorgeous, oh, this is gorgeous. perfect. Yeah. Did, did we lose five to four? Or? I think that's what I heard. Yeah. It was we, it was four minutes left? But I didn't get the final word here. Everybody's screaming out. Oh, a minute left. Six to four. Yeah, six to four. They probably got yeah. open. Bummer. Bummer. Yeah. That's all right. Played a good game. It was competitive toward the end, till the end. Are these valets? Are these valets coming? People busy. All right. That's him. Don't work too hard today. No, well, we'll be here to make sure you're here. Are you here till two? How late are you? One. One. Okay. One. All right. Carry on. Keep 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 everybody safe. Well, Jose, nice to see you. Take care. Thank you. Well, people are bailing out now. Got I don't it. know if you can really see them there. Kind of on the right side, you can kind of see them. Back up here. Let me can turn that camera just a hair more to the right, Pat. Push it just a little bit. So. There you go. That's good. That's fine. 
At least they can see people walking down the street. It's a little more interesting. Coming out of the wild. Deputies walking there, getting some exercise. I wonder which bar they're mostly going to. If they come across them, he goes by Penny as a TBI and substance abuse meth issues. Not for some brothers, but family thinks it's best to go to last well if they come across him. So anyhow, if you read that, if you got some time, read that letter, email from Jane and Yes we are. Hey, how you doing, brother? Make sure you tell Councilmember Prince. How's it going, guys? Good, how about you? Good, how are you, Jamie? That's my good friend, Jamie and hey, Katie. Hey, how are you guys? Nice to see you. Good to see you. How was the game? Good, though, huh? Lost. Yeah, I know, but it's still good, huh? Yeah, it's a good game. Sounds like we stayed in it toward the end. Yeah. Yeah. Goalie should have been pulled in the first five. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah. All right. They said it was, it, it yeah, that was a tough, that was an interesting yeah, first period. Yeah. Yeah. Transit off the street, the lexicon. Could have been 3 0. Seven hundred. Screw that. Have a good one. Yeah. That's a flat farm. Past few minutes. Information. Well, there's a lot of people bailing out here. Mm hmm. What we just score a game? Oh, we score! It's tied. It's tied. The game isn't over. It's tied. Fifty-seven oh, seconds oh. left, and we we tied. It was six to four, and now it's six to six. Five to five. Five to five. Five to five. Oh, they must have put, put it on the wrong one. Yeah. Fifty-seven seconds left. What the heck? It's tied now. We got a good view of this. We're sitting outside the bar. We can kind of see. They tied it up. That's something. Joel finally showed up here. He can play the. People are in a state of shock on the sidewalks of St. Paul. <laughs> the crowd. Cheers. I'm hearing some cheers. They ends. I hearing some what the what the <laughs> what, what the, the bucks, what the heck what the bucks. They can't believe it. There's one of our scooter buddies. Cars are stopping to look in the TVs. Fifty some seconds. Yeah, be, well, the worst thing would be to lose with fifty some seconds left. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, that other goal on five to four when they went up six, they called that goal off. Ah, that's okay. what happened. They called the goal off. They probably have to review. <clears throat> I don't know what the reason was. Sometimes if there's some delayed offside. Or... Oh my goodness! It'd be nice to win our first home game. Generate me another call for a single patient. Excellent heavy damage. I'll check to keep it an injury. That looks like a freak out accident. You know, there's a big crowd outside the truck bar, but still under score location. Totally different than two weeks ago. Yeah. Hey, hey, live hey, 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 how are you doing, guys? Buddy? Thanks for watching. Now, it's tied. For
I wish we had our PA. I'd like to let everybody know. Yeah, good point, but it's... It, it, I should have got the PA repaired because it doesn't work too good. How many people were on that double bus? I don't see us all. I don't think there's anybody. So are we in overtime yet or not? I don't think so. Um, yep, and the regular. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. 5182. People left after the sixth yes. goal, which got call. overturned. Let me just say that if you haven't been down here for a wild game, this is a great atmosphere all along West 7th Street. And it stays peaceful. From Eagle Street, Casetas. Trailer bar. Burger Moe's. Tom Reed's. And Pat McGovern's. But the other place for a good burger, if you ever want, is the Parlor Bar. Oh. I don't think they're open late, but that's a great burger. That's a great burger. So, Imagine a big part of the crowd has stayed in there. What if they come back and win this thing? It's going to be amazing. See that little screen pretty good, huh? Seven seven yeah. Copy and the burglary report. Seventy nine, seven nine two, Rose Avenue East. Why, the, why do they have two screens like that side by side? Are they both streaming the same thing? Clear, you can yep. It just looks like one is a little faster. Mm -hmm. Three seven seven, you're clear. That'd be hard for me to watch. Yeah. To watch in stereo. How you doing? Yes, it is. Yeah. Two, one, the DOC for the neighbor, the stick, Mike from inside or which Mike? No, he's up here at the house. Oh, oh, yes. Tell him thank you. Okay. Tell him thank you. Thanks a lot. So, yeah, yeah, I thank. forgot the name, but he just told me to tell you. Right, thank thanks you. Thanks a lot. Well, if you just tuned us in because you thought the wild game was over. It's not over. It's, it's in overtime. overtime. It's about 381 and 366. Got some drizzle out here, Pat. Yeah. There are someone's. I, th I first thought somebody had thrown a drink. Earl Street on uh, in progress DOC. I think it might be. For males outside yelling when the cop went out and asked him to stop, the male broke his window. GC now got an open line. The males believed to be from 10th Street Avenue. <laughs> Where was it? Where 
interesting one just to clear it for it. It was hard to watch that. I watched the first period before we hit it. It's hard to watch without Suter and Parisi. You know, it's uh, just different not seeing Parisi in number 11, Suter in number 20. Yeah. Those are a whole different feel now. Days, but, well, we got some good shot makers. I, would, I wouldn't dispute any coaching decisions there, but. Uh, that Parisi was one of the greatest, well, both of them, greatest role models for our kids. Brian Suter and Parisi. Yep. Hey, little man. Good men. How are you? Hey, little man. Good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. I've been here. Thank you. Callers, correct. Yeah, I got a pair of Ryan Suter right. autographed gloves. Really? Right. Yeah. I mean, I didn't actually get to beat him. I won him in an auction. Oh, that's cool, Dreadful, but pretty sure they're legit. Probably left for you have your night at 2012. What happened? Did they score? I think so. Or not I quite. Can't. They would have piled on, I think. We got to watch the replay here. Oh, he's getting dogged. Squad 362. All right, all right, all right. Oh. He found the standing that he looks at. Did he draw a penalty or not? I'm showing us a good address. Not sure. The uh, male's going to be an Asian male wearing that kid is white good. clothing. And they found the same and they'll push the screen in with a stick. No glass was actually broken. He's millions good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Number 97. There is a penalty though. I think I think we're four on four. So I think we should be four on three for the penalty. Yeah, when you get a one person advantage in a four on three, that's huge. All you gotta do is control the puck. Don't do anything stupid. Like, let them get a rush of two on one. Woo! That was close. There we go. Corner. All right, go wild. Yeah, we do. Where's the, where's the air horn? Where's the air horn? <laughs> Go wild! <laughs> Good thing we're here to help and celebrate. <laughs> That was unbelievable, coming down from two goal, two goal deficits, coming back and winning that thing. Oh, that was a cool ending. That's awesome. Well, I bet there's a lot of people wish they hadn't left. Siren, we were yeah. celebrating. I think you guys should let it go a little bit more. I don't know. That's awesome. That's what we need down here. You yeah, know? That's right. So. Yeah. That's right. This is an awesome stretch of St. Paul right here. It is. Yeah. This that is was a pretty great cool. Community too. That was yes, cool. it is. Pretty cool. We all want everything to succeed down here. It's yes, we do. Fantastic. 
All right, we'll see what these fans look like. They look happier They're than They're trying to get out behind us. They look happier than the other fans. Back up and go around. Jeez, I thought they were just celebrating the game. They're not going to park behind us again, are they? Maybe they're picking somebody up. Looks like she's getting somebody else. Okay, that's about their driving right up on your bumper now. I think there are some people that must not be wild fans. And they drive without headlights on too, did you know what I'm So look for your grandma, grandpa, um, aunt, uncle crossing the street here. Who do we got here working traffic? You recognize this guy? Yeah, the problem is these old guys remind me of the guys we work with. Yeah. But we're really old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, is that, is that Tommy? Oh, no. We're gonna be waiting. Oh, what are you doing? Good, how are you? <laughs> All right. What's going on? We're not in a hurry. All right. We're not, we're gonna hold it. We're, not in, a, we're not in a hurry. We're not in a hurry. Guys, I know we Isn't were that something? We were watching it in the truck, truck bar uh, screen from the street. It was amazing, amazing. This is a good spot for us anyhow. Got to get the, the, the view of people leaving. They're just going to leave these lights. They're going to block us, let everybody get out of here. Well, most people did stay. Yeah. As you can tell. Did. As you can tell. Well, welcome back to Minnesota Wild Hockey. That's a great way to start off. My son went to one or two of the preseason games. Those tickets are a little cheaper. I think that car that didn't want to, was in a hurry got through this intersection. Can you imagine how upset she would have been if she was sitting here? <laughs> Woo. That would have really been her bad. Maybe she was angry. Could be. Now, this is the first time I've seen the uh, the new, the new uh, uniform hat. Where is that it? Yeah. What's it's, different it's, about it? It's the dark blue, like oh, the uniform. Oh, well, I couldn't go with that. That light. Blue. I wouldn't think give up the light blue uniform, but it's another thing giving up the hat. Number 97. Where's the guy with the music? Is that the guy in the chair there? Yep. Oh, we are going to. You should probably roll that window up. We are going to get dinged for that music. I thought he was playing his own music. That's uh, somebody else's music. Well, if your friends or loved ones are down here and you got a little bit of worry, you do not need to worry. The only thing you got to worry about is a disgruntled Jets fan. And we're on the lookout for them. <laughs> 
sure. Or an angry woman in a silver BMW. Yeah. Watch out for yeah. her. Oh, there you go. Well, they haven't opened <laughs> the border with Canada yet, so I don't think we're letting the Jets fans, the Winnipeg, <laughs> the Winnipeg fans down here yet. <laughs> A lot of happy people right now. Got to see it. Of course, if you if you uh, are a diehard Minnesota fan, you know that the original franchise was the Minnesota North Stars. Yes, indeed. That's what Tom Reed, owner of Tom Reed's, played for the North Stars. 4047. Together with Lou Nanny. 4487. Air traffic. Hunter Road B Boy. No goals worthy, right? Minnesota Boy Tom There's Tom. Three. Three players. Zero. You can see all the players from the early years at Tom Reed's place. You can also see autographed jerseys of all the players since then. It's kind of hockey central. Man, oh man, oh man, a lot of people coming out of here. This is, is he waving us yeah. up? Okay. Very kind of you, kind sir. Have a great night. Thank you, we're going back. How you doing? Hi, how's it going? Did, did, did you stay for the end? Yes. Hey. Awesome. That hey, was amazing, doing? wasn't it? Oh, man. Good to see you guys. Doing? How are you? How are you guys doing? How are you? Good. Good. How are you? Great. Thank you. Good to see you. Nice yes, we are. We are. Tumble walk in front hey, of how are you? There you go, there you go. There. <laughs> right here in front of the camera. You got another couple. I got a couple. Just to get out of Well, I didn't feel like a couple. Here, you can take a pair Thank you. 
of people down here. It's great to see. A lot of them headed to Patrick McGovern's, Tom Reed's, Rick and Moe's. There's a pack con crossing the street. Yeah. Nice to see so many people out having a good time, for sure. Radio tuned up in <coughs> case there's a call in the area. That's been pretty quiet on the air. Yeah. Everybody's watching the game. <laughs> Eric Sinek had a hat trick tonight. He's quite a talented kid, too. They really wanted to keep him. That's He's got a Viking jersey on. I guess if you don't have hockey one, you wear your Viking. Huh? Well, still represent Minnesota. That guy's got a hockey stick. Four seven four eight half in out to Virginia Memorial. He's still wearing a hockey stick. Special on occupied way. Four tourists blocking the intersection. Five two seventeen. See that Westcott, Westcott Station? Mm -hmm. My uncle, Dick Fletcher, lived and grew up down here on 7th Street. He was amazing with wood, build stuff. And he used to, he lived down on Stewart down here. Actually, tell the whole story, his daughter, Gail, they had five daughters, Gail married Dave Cassetta. So my cousin Gail is married to Dave Cassetta. They have several kids, but this Westcott's antique station, Uncle Dick used to build stuff out of wood. Okay. To sell there. 7121. I mean, and here's the thing about that place. There's there's some antique furniture in there, there's some cool furniture, there's used furniture. I have the mail calling back. I got a couple of pieces. Earlier, he's now at days in twenty one forty nine. I mean it's really a cool a cool shop. But look where it's at. It's in the middle of all these restaurants here. <laughs> the guy could probably be making a million if he turned it in. There's Stormy. If he turned it into a... Uh, turn in. Were you at the game, Stormy? What were you, a, a were, you at, were you at the game? Absolutely, You dude. were there? Yep. Okay, even with your... Is that Dino Cicerelli jersey? Or which was... Who's yeah, was yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Tell it to Tom. <laughs> In your car safe. <laughs> that, that was a joke. I, I ran into Rev and I said, We gotta play a joke on Pat. I, I need an automatic. I'm too lazy. Fuck. Come on, boy. I'm too lazy. Come on. It's a, it's a muscle car. <laughs> well, maybe next summer I can give you the ride of your life. So how did you get Tom's jersey, anyhow? Huh? How did you get Tom's jersey? Did you order it or what? Or did, uh, you, did he give it to you? I've known Tom since like the 80s. Yeah, I know. But and then, how did he get it? Uh, probably up here. I used to work here, up at the X, at the Hockey Lodge. You know, when we interview suspects and they say probably up here, 
We know they're lying, right? So, I, mean, <laughs> I the, use the wrong words. Yes, yes, yes. The truth, I, the I truth is here. encapsulated in truth. There's no probabilities about it. You know, when you're when you're answering a question, it's like when you say, "Hey, where are you going?" They go, "Well, I'm just coming from my mom's house." No, I didn't <laughs> ask you where you're coming from. Where are you going? <laughs> no, I'm, I remember your lecture. I used the wrong words, and I got busted. <laughs> Well, no, it's like a really quiet crowd. It's pretty well. It was eighteen thousand one fifty six. Nice. Uh, who said? Oh, I might have to mute you if it's the wrong person. But who said let's play hockey tonight? Yeah, at the beginning. Well, you don't know what happened to me before the game. Oh, you didn't make it for the let's play hockey. No, I had I had a fanny pack, a belt yeah. to hold my, so I don't have to carry my. My phone. Yeah. It's like you can't come in. Oh. Like, they don't let any bags at all. Nothing. Not even sign your belt. Oh. So. Hey, how you doing? So yeah. Hey guys. Thanks, How's it going? Thanks for whatever you guys are doing. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Hey, that's a classic shirt, huh? <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. a nice one. How you doing, Pat? It's good. Good to see yeah, you. Yeah, good to see you, hey, Pat. Love what you guys are doing. Well, man. thanks a lot. Hundred percent. Thanks, thanks for saying that. You know that. Thanks for saying you know that. that. Appreciate awesome. it. Congrats on the deputy. <laughs> Thank you. You're back. Thank you. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Well yeah. deserved. Was it two months ago we were at Tom Reed's for the one year? <laughs> yeah, thanks fly. for coming to that. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds July right. 24th. Yeah. Yep. No, love Everybody's it, man. Gonna... Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Pretty exciting, yeah. huh? The Good game? game. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Awesome. That's why you never leave a game early. That's right. Not in hockey. Well, we did, but the rest were terrible, so I, I would never have expected them to. <laughs> Up until this year, I would always say you could leave a Viking game early, but maybe not now. Maybe not. Maybe not. They, they're. Lately, you can leave at half. <laughs> they've been making a lot of last minute, last minute scores. So who knows? Who knows? You guys be safe. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Have a good Thank one, you. guys. Take Thank care, you. Guys. Take care. Well, we got to go and drive around a little bit. How is it going for you guys tonight? So, so. Well, it's this been, has been, been it grueling. right here. It's been grueling. It's actually, I have Mountain Dews in my car for you guys. We're good tonight. Save okay. them for the next time. I will. We got them. Okay, I'll let you guys go and keep everybody safe. So. Thank you, Stormy. Take care, Stormy. Thank you. We are going to move around a little bit. We're going to go support the truck park. After All right, very good. Love to see little kids down here with their parents. Yeah. Watching hockey. You know, one of my favorite things is every year I took little Bob to the state tournament down here. First weekend in March, second weekend in March usually, but uh, you know, just hanging out at the at the Minnesota State High School hockey tournament. It's just a tradition. Really fun. Well, let's. Is that guy get his turn signal on? If no, not, he does not. If not, then we are going to borrow his spot. Thank you. Uh, They're happy. Little, let's take a little tour around downtown a little bit. See what else is going on down there, huh? 366. Yeah. Advised, Ted Cummins, send domestic. Congratulations. 1824 Old Hudson Road, on a rolling Minnesota domestic. Wild. Vehicle pulled up in front of the building. The male and female got out, started yelling at one another and running back and forth. They got back to the vehicle that was just going to Old Hudson. It's going to be a great sedan. Let's see what we got in the pending queue.
check out a few other locations downtown here. See if people are getting to their cars safely. Eighteen thousand people. That's Down, nice. Downtown for and others in the bars and restaurants watching. Anytime you get 20,000 people downtown St. Paul, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. And you just got to keep them there. Good for the businesses. Spin that thing a little further to the right. To the right. The, no, not that, but just take that top part. You know how you that top, that little thing there? Yeah, see if we can force it a little to the right. Hey guys. There you go. Oh, that's much better. Traffic everywhere. to 35E for 94, the entrance to 94 is actually closed off, going the other way. Yeah, I, when we were on the, I can't remember what we were on the way to, but I told Joe Kill, go down 6th Street and get on 94 there over the radio. Whoops. Yeah. So anyhow, the story about Deputy Thomas Siegelstrom from the other night that you read part of it. So we have a detail. We have a, a new team called the Auto Theft Team that's funded by a grant from the Department of Commerce looking for stolen. The same teams that, team that found the other one Pat was talking about. And so one of our team members is at Maryland and Rice, spots a stolen. Actually, technically, that we don't know what the car, but the, it had a stolen temporary, had a stolen temporary, temporary tag. Temporary tag. So he radios us, and as a new technique, we really do try not to have a mark squad behind these right away because then they just flee. So we try to pick and choose our spots that we can block them in and corral them. We've had great success with it. Element of surprise too. But we all were trying to get to him quickly. And as the car went west on Maryland, south on Dale, east on Lawson, up around Loeb Lake, and then back down Arundel, and suddenly it stopped. Three guys got out, started shooting at him, yep. which fortunately had a good enough distance. Well, they missed. Yep. And... Uh, then it fled. Next, Patrick saw it at Rice and Atwater. Saw it going south on Rice, the car, but couldn't keep up with it because his engine's not as strong as some others. <laughs> as, a, as a new Impala. Yeah. So we lost the car, but we did some research, and we, we have more information now. I can't reveal it to you, but thankfully the... Deputy was okay. But that was a little more detail about what happened. We did find six casings, two different, two different uh, caliber weapons in the street. And you probably heard about it because what's that news media? Not the Capital Transparency Minnesota News Network people. One of those. They were out shadowing us, and I know they did report on it, but it was also on the scanner. And uh, so we have a covert radio operation channel for that particular function. So you might hear some radio confusion, but 
it all worked out just fine. Just a reminder how dangerous a stolen car can actually be. Stolen cars are rarely just about that car. It's Especially about the future, future crimes they commit with that car. Which we see time after time after time. A lot of people are in a hurry right now. Jets fans. <laughs> living up to their name. Yeah. Jets fans. And I know we mentioned this before. This road's brand new, all done. Oh, look at this. But I just want to thank the CEOs of Secure and Financial that were right in front of Chris Hilger. And we mentioned the CEO, Christoph Beck from Ecolab. Thank you for your support of strong public safety and security downtown we greatly appreciate your voices if people going downtown can't feel safe downtowns historically wither and tomorrow I'm tomorrow morning at 11 I'm going over to meet with uh, Chief Aaron Dondo and Sheriff Hutchinson and a few other police chiefs and sheriffs talk about Minneapolis safety. Should be a great discussion. Far too many people in Minneapolis who are truly living in living in fear. Which reminds me, Sheriff Hutchinson. If you want to call anytime. Oh, I was wondering who said let's play hockey. It was Jim Craig of the 1980 no, Olympic good. team who said let's play hockey tonight. And if you've seen the movie Miracle on Ice, you know Jim was the goalie who uh, had an unbelievable game. And his mother passed away. Mm. Shortly before the That's right. Olympics, and um, he stood on his head. They say, as they say on goalie terminology, to stop the stop the Russians. And a four to three victory over them. Fifty-one, eighty-two. That would have been cool. I would have liked to have seen that guy. Yeah, that would have been. If they wanted to go. 26th and Street. And of course, Herbie, Herbie Brooks. Who coached the team is memori in the back. memorialized. The statue there. Never been on the very well. And his brother David Brooks, who was an outstanding hockey player as well. Both of them from the east side of St. Paul. One of the biggest supporters of downtown hockey. Actually, the greatest day parade, February of uh, 2010. Last year, right before COVID hit, David Brooks organized the greatest day parade in, in, to memorialize the defeating of the Soviet Union. The parade went from uh, Rice Park down to uh, Saints Field, or CHS Field. Mm. And we brought Herbie's statue from out at the um, Super Rink. We transported on a truck down here so when the parade got to CHS Stadium, there was 
Herbie. <laughs> dress dress for the game, you know, with his hands up. Uh -huh. Guess what jersey they put on him? What? Johnson. Awesome. That's where he played. Awesome. Johnson High School. Denny, Alibi. 19 year old male, 5 foot 11, 195 pounds. Monica. Monica, paper, paper. All is well. Well, I'm going to miss this warm weather, Pat. Yeah, this is nice. This is this is perfect. Turn his lights on yet? Yeah. Just got him played up in the window. If you're wondering where that plate was. Was there a description? I do not have a description. About 115. On a welfare check, for the comments, please call 1100 before investigating. Please call at 1529. So we are looking for uh, two cars, a couple stolen that were seen earlier today. Uh, Pat, I don't know if you can give that one information on the one that Mike Martin, Sheriff Mike Martin saw. People could maybe help us with that, and then the information on the Durango Chevrolet. Yeah, I'm gonna have to call Mike Martin and see if he's got anything else. Yeah, we're gonna have to call him and see if he's got anything else. Yeah, we're gonna have to call him and see if he's got anything else. Yeah, we're gonna have to call him and see if he's got anything else. Yeah, we're gonna have to call him and see if he's got anything else. Yeah, we're gonna have to call him and see if he's got anything else. Yeah, we're gonna have to call him and see if he's got anything else. Yeah, we're gonna have to call him and see if he's got anything else. Yeah, we're gonna have to call him and see if he's got anything else. Yeah, we're gonna have to call him and see if he's got anything else. Yeah, we're gonna have to call him and see if he's got anything else. Yeah, we're gonna have to call him and see if he's got anything else. Yeah, we're gonna have to call him and see if he's got anything else. Yeah, we're gonna have to call him and see if he's got anything else. Yeah, we're gonna have to call him and see if he's got anything else. Yeah, we're gonna have to call him and see if he's got anything else. Yeah, we're gonna have to call So we're headed over to the east side from downtown. Yeah, I would have hated to, I would have hated to have been there and left early. Yeah, really. I'm kind of glad I wasn't there for that reason. <laughs> In case I left early. Your uh, laptops get either low battery. That sounds like a low battery warning, or it could be a message warning. It's a lot of messages. If you want to get 10 one away. That's right. 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 for Roseville 2690 here on the street. 1400, Bayland Drive on a motor vehicle. The racers are the on the vehicle. Right. 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 There's a message. Come in. She should be at 1014 Jenks. I forgot to mention that. It's going to be her, her home address, but I will do a call back still. Okay.
88, you can clear there. 325. Just spoke with the gun. Confirmed she is at the 1014 Jinx address. I don't know. It sounds like the backseaters figured out how to message you on Are those messages or what are those? Yeah. Yeah. What, are they just populating or? It was, uh, we were getting some updates on some stolen okay. with uh, an urgency attached to it. About the one that got me out of the disturbance, 1100 Euclid Street for loud music coming from the address for the past hour. It's 1941. So, Under Sheriff Martin uh, spotted a uh, dark green 2000 Toyota Corolla AEG 292. Uh, let's see here. Where was that? Frog town somewhere, I think. Right? It was, yeah, it was last seen westbound on St. Anthony from St. Albans, being driven by a white male. <clears throat> this afternoon, a, a blue 2004 Honda Pilot was stolen from Twelve. Western and Selby. Played as AND. 524 Alpha the, November the Delta Alpha 524 parked next to the garages Minnesota license Echo Hotel Kilo 693 and a 2012 Chevy Malibu maroon in color 1070 York they're out with a stolen uh, towing company I think it's unoccupied but who knows at least get there and make sure it doesn't go anywhere huh maroon Malibu Noisy, but he's not fast. <clears throat> and then over in the midway, a tan 2008 Dodge Durango 609 URL 609 uniform Romeo Lima. Keep an eye out. Oh, that, that ought to be easy to find. A Durango, the early version, though. Yeah. Clear. So, this apartment complex is world renowned for stolen cars. It sure is. Which tells us someone in the neighborhood is a car thief. Hey, I want the cop record one. Happy. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. So, I don't know if he's still here, but he reported the car being by a garage, right? Yep. Flashlight back there. Somebody was just shining. I don't see it here, though. Well, that's not good. Could be the next building over, though. There's... Here. Hello. Everything okay? Fixing his car. I didn't like the tow truck there. Where's how you, know, you want to check how long this car call's been pending? There's another. I think I heard this call. I tried to get dispatched earlier. Well, it looks like it came in at 10:32. What's the plate? 
BHK693. Okay. Well, could be in a garage. We just could have missed it. of is the color actually maroon. Yeah, somebody just went into that across the year walking up to now. Through the back garage here was dark. Guessing it was all dark. Here comes the shadow. Fifty one eighty four LPT. Twenty two forty six. Oh no plates are on. <clears throat> Still didn't see a maroon Malibu. No plates are on it? No, he ran it by the bin. Okay. Maybe it's not maroon. That one's got plates. There, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we found it. Well, aren't we the... Well, we came in from the other way last time. <laughs> you just want to go check it, make sure nobody's in there? Yeah. Walk them in for you if they are. <laughs> so we're just going to hang here till the St. Paul car gets here. Let's see which agency reported it stolen. Chisago GKY 947. Chisago? GKY Can I remember it or what? Stop! <laughs> <laughs> da 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 da. Trying to remember the plate of one that drove by us. You want me to sit on it? No, we'll just wait. How they're, they're coming, aren't they? Yeah, they're dispatched. Uh, they'll be here. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we'll stay. Thank you, though. New message. <coughs> how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. I just want to say one thing about that guy. He's definitely a Jets fan. <laughs> definitely a Jets fan. 2162 Tango. Stay advised. 's was one of our stolens from the contract cities or if one of the stolens that we were looking for for a certain reason we would probably tow it to our we would have had Alex tow it to our impound lot and process it but it's just Chisago County stolen in St. Paul and not one that we've been looking for so we're gonna look St. Paul Police Department is coming. Take care of it. Well, whoever took it sure smashed the heck out of it. Oh, did they? Is it smashed up? Yep. The front end. You know when we um, arrested those two, two kids, there were two kids in the car, one that Pat held and one that Alex chased after. Mm -hmm. When we arrested them the other day, 
a lot of other people uh, came out in the neighborhood. And there were there were some street ambassadors. I want to thank them because they talked to the kids and originally why we were getting things. And they were telling the kids, hey guys, it's a stolen car. You know, the officers are being respectful. And, and we were. Copy north of DLC, 1060 Ross Avenue. I'm calling back, um, saying he's hearing voices outside of the address and asking our squad to check the area. Squad 362, I got the OVN Road as well. That's right on the other side of the bridge. Yes, it is. But anyhow, um, we had a chance to talk to a number of kids that were out and about at that time. And uh, they were off school. And trying to impress upon them that people just can't steal other people's cars. Or their stuff at all, you know? And I think they get it. Sometimes they argue with you. Mm -hmm. Charlie, I'm not really, I can't tell. Do you, are you arguing for the sake of arguing? Or do you really think it's okay to steal cars? Yeah, that's baffling sometimes. in the back of my head sometimes. Well, let's see what's happening here. So, we just want kids to realize that there are certain Standards of right is right and wrong is wrong. But stealing cars is definitely in the wrong category. Yeah. Hey, by the way, this weekend by Friday we will have the old, the new Durango back. Yes, yes, we yes, will, sir, e Bob. The new Durango is coming back. I bet this guy wants to get in here, huh? Well, I'm going to take a chance. No one's going to run into that car and drive it away, Patrick. I think we're pretty safe as trashed as it is. Yeah, I know. How many times have things gone wrong before? Oh, it's up on a jack besides. Well, that is a little different situation. You see it? Mm-hmm. Looks like they're about I to... would suspect the catalytic converter is gone. Well, I'm about to... the tire's about to be gone, too. I should probably check all the plates on this parking lot while we're here. <laughs> oh my goodness. They did take the call, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that car's not going anywhere anytime soon. Obviously. Somebody asked our thoughts about nights with a full moon, which is going to be tomorrow night, actually. It's the, I think it's called the Hunter's Full Moon. Okay, go ahead and give him your thoughts. I personally think there's something to it. Not always, but there are definitely some more bizarre than usual calls on full moon nights. And I think most emergency room personnel agree. Well, that's the thing. I, I'm just going to... You, you hit it on the head. I personally... 5182, clear squad Don't see the connection. However, when we were working the streets in the olden days, the hospital people claimed that they always were busier. Squad 226. On the full moon. Yeah. Right? They swear by it. I felt it too. 
115 Anchor Street, east on a DOC. Tom's friends refusing to leave his drunk boy. Oh, Kurt Londrosh, the Tom's uncle of the Londrosh family, the great uncle of the Londrosh family. <laughs> Had his birthday on the 16th. Well, happy birthday, Kurt. Happy, happy birthday. <laughs> he don't. He was driving by it too. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Got my rear lights on, so. <coughs> Be a little tricky hauling that out of there. All right, we're off to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of all those. Because, 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 because. Well, Dan Cermak did end up, did not end up needing facial surgery. Mm. And uh, he sends out thanks to all the backseaters who wished him well. That was a scary thing. Yeah, no kidding. Probably going to the Ross call. I suppose we can swing down there on in case he needs a backup. Sure. 1066 Ross. You know, that call on Ross reminds me of another call the same night that uh, Siegelstrom got shot at at 3.30 Magnolia, where a guy heard noise, heard people talking outside his apartment, and yeah. then heard somebody prying on the window. And the officers got there. Got people out of a stolen car, had a guy who ran from him, who dropped a gun with an extended magazine. They uh, did a great job setting up a fast perimeter that I was actually a part of. And the uh, canine came out and tracked him down, found him a few, y few yards down yep. hiding. Yep. Did a great job. What is the address on this call? Is yeah. it 1066? Can you maybe you just peek at your cab? This yeah. looks like an older Durango. Let's wait till this goes by. Yeah, but can you run the? Can you peek at the cab? You mean because it's stolen? That that's oh, well, what that I'm wondering. Luckier about. than hell if it was. FZ end. Nope, that's a that's a Tahoe. Tahoe. Yeah. <coughs> I just want to know if the guy with the SAP is leaving. FZ end two six eight. Six is down that far, but ten sixty. Okay, it's on the corner right here where we're at. Then. Well, new message. So, question is. Is there an apartment number? There's four apartments there at 1060. Uh, voices are faint. Doesn't want anybody knocking at his door. Also gave the address 806 Earl. Hearing voices outside the address. Okay. That's weird. <coughs> well, we don't want to be those voices. <laughs> It's that building right across the street there. 8190. 8190. Can you hold that up, please? Okay. You're going to let St. Paul handle this call since. <coughs> See an 806. Oh, there isn't one. I think it's just the GPS location on the corner there. But the building was 1060, and then there's four apartments in it, so. Well, 
let's go down here on 5th Street. It's the most frequent shots fired location of the last two weeks. Yeah, really. We do have all the radios on right now, backseaters. Not a lot of traffic out either. No. <clears throat> Someday we gotta get a day where we can just Get out five, early five, five. and just answer all our messages. Five, five. Actually, if you really want an answer, please send the message to Pat. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I just don't have time to get to him. Well, I try my best. You do great. You're awesome. Hello, Sheriff Dave Hutchinson. Hello, sir. I was just watching live, and uh, Pat seemed bored, so I thought I'd call. Uh, I'm glad you called. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank uh, you, Sheriff. Yeah, thanks for thanks for giving us something interesting to listen to. Yeah. Well, I have a smoothing voice. I can How about that wild sleep. game? Huh? How about that wild game? I know you don't get over to Ramsey County that often, you know, but I'm joking. I, I watched it go wild. Yeah, I watch. I'm joking because you're always over here having lunch, you know, in well, Ramsey County. I put on new tab, so it's cheaper. Do you think it's maybe safer over here? I think that's why you come over. No, no, no. no. I go <laughs> every day. I go downtown Minneapolis. I go to the Hen House and several other places. So, downtown so who's coming to this meeting tomorrow with you and I and uh, Chief Arredondo besides the three of us? Do you know who else going to be there? Uh, I think a few of the chiefs. I think. Uh, Maybe Ted Axtell, I think uh, Matt Clark from the U of M. Yeah. I'm not sure what the state's office or not, but all we need is uh, me and you, right? Well, I, I'm sure I'm, just I'm sure we can carry a tune together, you know. <laughs> and uh, yeah. um, well, we can at least BS our way through it, right? Well, I mean, you know, we t you and I talked earlier today. I think it's important that that we yeah. save Minneapolis and that. You know, we support Chief Aaron Dondo in that effort, but also it's important that, you know, we get the right message out to the public as to, you know, what the potential impact could be if the police department's eliminated. It's a, uh, Bob, as you know, Pat, you go, it's, it's concerning. It's, uh, there's no plan, you know. We can evolve and be a better uh, public safety uh, but that requires a plan that requires funding and that requires teamwork and requires community input it doesn't require a city council input only it doesn't require mayor input only uh, police department just like the great thing about sheriff's offices we're ran by the people it should be the same at police departments it shouldn't be run by politics and that's the problem we're running into being sheriffs all we care about is public safety and uh, we're going to be damned uh, to the den that we're going to fight for what's right for the people and the public safety of our communities. I don't care Ramsey or Hennepin. If Minneapolis goes, the whole Twin Cities goes. So we need to invest in Minneapolis. We need to get Minneapolis back on its feet. And we got to make sure public safety is strong. Uh, I agree. And you know, you're every time you call in, you're so articulate. That was spot on. Yeah. Normally when I talk at home, when you call me at 7 in the morning, you're not quite as, as uh, clear-headed. But boy, by... 11, you're on the money. Some ghost I'm getting to be like uh, Grandpa Bob. I'm a night owl now. Oh, there you go. We, you know, we, we, we do that name calling. <laughs> no, you know, too much love. We got to do some, some uh, spirited uh, bickering. It's good. People hey, like that. We got, we got some. How's it going? Nice to see you again. Watch it. Watch it. It's coming fast. Oh, whoop. That was a good game, huh? Are you the one that brought us the watermelon Mountain Dew once? I remember you. Thank you so much. 
Yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching, and thanks for that watermelon Mountain Dew. That's become one of Pat's favorite drinks. I'm getting used to it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Thank you again. Have a good night. Thanks for thanks for watching us. Thank you. Sorry, there, Sheriff Dave. That sounds pretty good, actually. The yeah. watermelon Dew. Yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah. Probably not good for you, but about ten what times else is? better than pineapple on pizza, though. <laughs> I'll tell you what Depends on the pizza Yeah, yeah. So anyhow um, I, you, Yeah you're, You put it so well And I I just I like listening to you Talk about it Because everybody should hear you You know you. I know you love Yeah well, you, you know about We're both passionate about it You know We're going to help them Because it's the right thing to do We took note to protect and serve And we're going to do that uh, Until the end of time Yeah Well and I I do I do hope the public keeps Minneapolis in a position that that they have the resources to to save the town, and um, we're going to be there to help them. But we need a strong foundation in, of the Minneapolis. Yeah, you know, they've lost a third. You saw that story the other night on the news. They lost a third of their department. It's 200, crazy. Two hundred and sixty people left. And there's and there's and there's rumors. There are rumors, Mel's, if it does go through, that there could be more leaving. So, uh, it's scary. It's, uh, it's irresponsible for some, and um, we just gotta figure this out. But uh, eliminating stuff, or uh, let's evolve. Let's not eliminate. Right. Well, let's let's uh, after that meeting tomorrow, it'll be interesting. Sometime maybe Friday night, we can talk more on live on patrol over, you know, what the what the plan is to to help save Minneapolis. So. I agree, sir. I'm excited to see you. Hopefully you can figure your way in the big city. If uh, you need help, I can guide you through. <laughs> yeah, I, appreci I do appreciate that. And you said you'd uh, find a place for me to park tomorrow morning too, right? Yeah, we'll get you, get, we'll get you, if Pat comes, we'll get you guys a couple of wheelchairs too. <laughs> <laughs> You're so kind. Oh, All right, gentlemen, have a good night. Oh, my goodness. You're, you're a piece of work. <laughs> Take care, right. Sheriff. Thanks, thanks a lot. Bye. Well, we got to get him back tomorrow. Definitely. 296 7th Street, East of the Speedway, and DLC. Females return and refusing to leave. Currently inside. Black female in her 20s, 5 foot 5. Or in a light blue jacket and dark blue pants. That's the Speedway downtown. Yeah, I'll be around. 23 away. I always enjoy listening to him. Me too. Uh, sometimes that guy is so articulate. Boy, he put that he put that right on the money. He's the Jane Prince of Hennepin County, you know, just just like her letter. If Minneapolis goes, the Twin Cities go. It's well put. We're gonna keep fighting the good fight, no matter what. Heard any shots fired over here since we came? Nope. It's told on Fifth Street. Do you remember last year when we were chasing those kids and they ran around the fence right here in the back? Oh yeah. And then we pulled over here and we gave them some box of donuts. <laughs> <laughs> we had we had two boxes of donuts someone had had uh, given to us. And they came back slowly, like. Okay, is it, is it a trick? Are you gonna are you gonna yell at us? Yeah, trick. No, you were just being kids. So we are on Fifth Street, heading east from Earl. By the way, I don't know if you can watch it on cable, but Thursday morning, you might want to make a note of this. Thursday morning at 9 o'clock, there's a joint meeting between the Senate Judiciary, the Senate Public Safety, and the Senate Transportation Committee to talk about crime. The state? State. Okay. How about the state Senate building? It's a three committee joint meeting. And um, they've asked me to come and 
testify about crime. A few other unique things, of course. I'm not going to reveal everything tonight, but um, so myself, there'll be a few other sheriffs and chiefs probably that are invited to testify about what's going on with crime, staffing, etc. And of course, we have a lot going on in Ramsey County. So, if you want to find out, I'm sure it's televised. Where it's actually an in-person meeting. But if you want to find out, uh, go check it out. It'll be Thursday morning at nine o'clock. It's in one of the main Senate conference rooms. Should be an interesting discussion. Other thing, I I don't think I mentioned it yet, but there is another story in the Pioneer Press that came out tonight online, it'll be published tomorrow morning in the paper, regarding this uh, CRT review team that the county attorney has adopted that ends up not charging people. I won't say much more, but read the story in the Pioneer Press that came out tonight. You can probably pull it up. Unfortunately, if you haven't paid, you might not be able to see it, but someone else can post the text somewhere in this thread too it's an interesting story worth reading maybe someone someone can post it on the back cedar page can you believe the radio no I can you believe there's no happen. headlights well that happens I think um, that person, I think the equipment is defective. Let's just see what they have to say. Because there's a little light. How are you doing, sir? How are you? You know, your headlights aren't working properly. I'm sorry, okay. You're sorry about that? Are they on? Are your headlights on? For a disorderly Let me just email check them real quick. screaming, saying she wants mail removed. Mail her in the back. Right, so we want to make sure. No, oh, there they go. Now you got them on. There you go. Very All good. right. Have a good night. There they go. Thank you. Twenty-three. Okay. Doesn't have any tail lights. Doesn't have any tail lights. Oh my doing? goodness! They're just testing us. Brake lights, but no tail lights. We just like to, we're like the traffic repair squad tonight. Hi, how are you? I just thought you might want to know so you can take care of this. Your headlights work, your brake lights work, you have no taillights at all. So you might want to get it, get it checked out, okay? Your wife, probably just a fuse. All right, have a good night. We stopped her before. Yeah. For the same exact thing. I think so. <laughs> should probably Anyone keep track of that. She's a nice enough lady. Very nice. Affirmative. Case number 219259. Two, Your guys, one, two, four, mm. and we'll take your PIC. My copy, you're both en route to the Neil's Hayrise, 325th Laura Avenue, unit 206, for an old PIC caller stating the female is urinating on his floor. Garbage day for you tomorrow, huh? Yes, it is. Ours was today. It's amazing how fast it feels like you're putting out garbage. Mm -hmm. I mean, the weeks just click, click, click. Here we are. Winter is upon us. Well, here's the good news, parents. It's MEA, so your kids will be home with you on Thursday and Friday. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Enjoy their company. Uh, enjoy.
do something together. I actually like it when they're off for MEA, but a lot of parents, it's hard because they're working and, right. you know, the best thing, the best strategy is let them sleep in until about noon or one. Sleep's like money in the bank. You can, you can never go wrong putting sleep in. That's what I used to say in college. You, but they used to draw out a lot. But, uh... Yeah, St. Paul. And as, as, as far as I'm aware, Ramsey County, we do not have warning citations. If you give a warning, it's verbal. But we have administrative citations. The law provides that we can give administrative citations that up to 10 miles over the speed limit. Okay. That will not go on your driving record. So there's the good news, and then you just pay a fine. And then, so, to find the administrative citation, actually the money goes right to the city. But like for a tail light tell, is there? A, there's uh, no. A it's, it's either a ticket or a verbal warning, right? I think so. So one other thing. Um, we're gonna we're gonna pop on. Is it frozen or we're back? We are gonna pop on periodically. Partly because we like we like riding with you, backseaters. But make sure that your friends know that they if they want to be notified, they need to follow the live on patrol page. And you know, obviously. Not everybody on my personal page is following live on patrol, and I know some of them ask, well, why can't I see it? Well, it's not on my personal page anymore. So if you are if you listen to this, make sure you follow the live on patrol page to get notified. Hey, Uh, kind of quiet, Pat. Well, yeah, I, it is. I said the Q word. <laughs> four two six. No, there's no such thing as a fix it ticket either. Walsh and Jessamine with Nickel Papa Mike seven seven two. Stolen vehicle. Please come back to my other check out here. Walsh and Jessamine. Walsh and Jessamine. Five three nineteen. How's it going? Good. Hey, do you remember the name of the guy that fled from us here? Uh, yeah, uh, Ryder. Ryder, okay. Someday we should go try to find him again. I know the squads chased him to his house one yeah. night, but it was right as some emergency call came out, and I don't think they pursued it. We still owe him a trip to jail. Yes, we do.
Hey, I had, I, did I tell you I had breakfast this morning? Over at McDonald's on, uh, I think I mentioned I had an 8.30 meeting, but Lewis Henry, who owns several McDonald's, invited a number of uh, law enforcement officers and leaders in the community to come over for breakfast at 8.30. So Tyrone Terrell was there, Reverend Patterson, which by the way, I didn't see it, but they did a nice piece on him I heard on Channel 5 News last night. Oh, really? Yeah. Good. Ronnie Patterson, they did a great piece on him. They called me in to ask me a few questions. But uh, Todd Axtell, Chief Todd Axtell was there, a number of his commanders, and a number, a number of our administrative team were there, too. Code 4 vehicles occupied. But, uh, well, I've only met this Lewis Henry, and I think he has a son named Courtney Henry. They own, like, 19 McDonald's. Really? All in the Twin Cities? In the or? Twin Cities, yeah. Mostly on the east side. He said he really doesn't want to own any in Minneapolis, but he owns one over on Nicollet. Um, but they remodeled that whole place, you know, that McDonald's. It's absolutely beautiful. Which one? On uh, Marion, University of Marion. Oh, okay. It's uh, just gorgeous inside there. 22. And, uh, but such a pleasant pleasant person but I told him he said well we're having breakfast you know and I said well I'll have eggs and bacon you know you want the big breakfast with the pancakes I said sure so he said well we gotta have another meeting sometime and I said yeah but I want an evening one because I want the double cheeseburger plain <laughs> and he, you know what he said that's my favorite meal too because you get you get all the flavor with the meat and the cheese. And Chief Axtell says, you don't put ketchup on it? I said, no, Pat and I don't put ketchup on no, our cheese. No, we're purists. But our cheeseburgers, no. Oh, heck no. Yeah. But I was glad to know the owner of 19 McDonald's also thinks the double cheeseburger plain is the best meal, too. Right? <laughs> there you go. A kindred spirit. There we have it. So thank you, Mr. Henry, for breakfast 19 McDonald's wow yeah. you know what's funny is that you know the first competing restaurant for McDonald's in 1962 you know what it's called was Henry's over on White Bear Avenue. And now Mr. Henry owns the McDonald's. That's pretty cool. Yeah, my parents used to, used to be a Henry's over on White Bear Avenue by the White Castle. <laughs> and they were in competition with McDonald's to see who was going to sell the most burgers. And McDonald's eventually put them out of business. Is yeah. that radio on one? Oh, I got this on our tech, but I can put it on one. I was scanning for the most part. There wasn't much going on. Yeah, believe it or not, folks. Oh, there we go. There's a call. Can you stop team for a few? Please just stop it in team. You've heard everything coming over the radios that is going on. You've heard it right here. I guess when the wild wind, people go inside and drink. To celebrate, right? I guess. So, we just got to keep you up till two then, Pat. I promised Pat we wouldn't work too late. Because we all got to be to work tomorrow. But we're going to be sure to pop on periodically. We wanted you to see downtown nightlife after a wild game. For those of you that are from other countries and other states, you can see how fun that nightlife can be down there. For sure. And how proud we are of our Minnesota wild. Our friend Dave let us know he's monitoring all the outtakes. 
Appreciate that, Dave. Well, we should probably go downtown and drive by Ellery's, see how they're holding up. Good idea. Busy address. Copy. 20 times. 2328. We're going to park outside. But... 319, cancel 327, Elbow. 327, you're clear. Yeah, thank you. We are probably the closest. We'll Flight listen. 328. But this is a regular call. I think the resident in the building calls on the other residents, right? Usually. Yeah. 1321, I got yeah. the domestic. 774, 5th Street, East. Girlfriend refusing to get out of the bed of the comp. Silver pickup. She is violent kicking. Oh, Named no. Haley. White female, 24 years old. Been billed wearing dark clothing. That's a different name. That's 2329. How can we get two calls in one week where the female <laughs> refuses to get out of the bed of the truck? <laughs> right? Unreal. I. Three, two, one. Probably do Were we live during that? Oh, we were. We're. Yes, we were. Yeah. yeah. That might be the same guy, but the girl we've heard is the name is different. Maybe he's got a different girl in the bed of his truck. I thought the call was refuses to get out of his bed. <laughs> That's what I thought at first and too. The bed of his truck. It's all in semantics. <laughs> so remember, 12, Maryland is 1200 north. So 1194, of course, is right on the corner, or just almost there. 224 be sure for Marion with Echo Bravo Hotel, so the one behind. Facing the phone. Well, we'll listen in for a little bit. Let's see if we can hear you. Bravo 534 EOT. Bravo 534, have a good night. 2330. This is where we're supposed to be, right? Mm hmm. Says the lower unit. Sounds pretty quiet to me. There is a sign on the door, however, that says beware. Enter if you dare. Where'd that car go? Right. Grade 101 to copy suicide in progress up to Cleveland High Rise, 899th Avenue, South Unit 312. Male is admitting to cutting his wrist intentionally with a pocket knife. He will put the knife away before responders arrive. Six people. <clears throat> One 
So we have an update from Minneapolis. Earlier tonight, a young teenage boy, I think Pat might have mentioned it, was in the Phelps Park, at Phelps Park in South Minneapolis to watch his eight-year-old brother's football game. He was shot in his stomach just before. We have multiple callers on this reporting, hearing a male and female arguing. The cop who reported his girlfriend was refusing to get out of the vehicle. It is called back, hitting the girlfriend's now following him in a silver vehicle. The girlfriend's parked behind the comp at Open Fifth. What? What? Open Fifth. Open Fifth. Uh, well, maybe we should. Maybe, maybe that's a higher priority. Since, One, seven, four, let Maddox know I'm since the cars are moving, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so fifth, I knew Fifth Street would make a, an appearance. Anyhow, this young boy got shot at seven o'clock, watching a football game. Watching his eight-year-old brother play. Play football. He gets shot in the stomach. And it was the sixth shooting they had responded to tonight in Minneapolis. Good God. Sixth shooting. That's why it's Seriously, anybody who says Minneapolis is not out of control has their head buried in the sand. Well, and anybody that thinks eliminating the police department is going to improve things is... Living in an alternate universe. There you go. Like Hutch said, can we evolve and improve? Of course. But we're not going to evolve and improve if the town is less safe. The one thing I did notice that Jamal Osman, that city council member, it looked like he was realizing that we need to do everything. He said we got to do everything, even if, it, even if it's a matter of strengthening the police department. And I, I just want you to know, city councilman, that was an impressive statement to say, yes, we got to do it all. And that's all we're saying. The law enforcement doesn't believe they have all the answers, but they're a big part of the puzzle. Absolutely. So fifth and hope, the lady's following him in a car now. Yep. We she, almost got to see this. She's in a silver car. He's in a pickup. You want to just see if we got to see up if we got an update? You want to let the medics know that he might be down there and wait for him to go up. Have you? What kind of pickups he got? I think it said silver. Silver too. Okay, the caller's in a silver Dodge Dakota pickup. Silver Toyota camera. Okay. Silver Dodge Dakota and Silver Camry. Probably still running around the east side. I think I can get there this way. I don't know. Maybe I should have gone one more block. Yeah, but I'll figure out. Oh, you can hop the curb up here. Well, thanks for mentioning that. I wasn't going to tell them we were going to hop the curb. <laughs> Our back seat is in. Where's it going? Running. They're running uh, um, on wall. On wall? On wall. Yep. 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 That's the guy from the. Sorry, we're going to try to figure this out, but there's like a bunch of people running here at 296 7th Street. No, where is The speedway. The speedway. Yeah, give him the air. A squad. Go. Huh? And, uh, Go. The 2967 3D speed one. 7 2 1. Well, get a description of the person with the gun. 2 6 1, negative. Our cop just ran to our squad car, told us that someone stole her gun, and ran southbound on wall, and they all just took off. Stole her gun. 
I'm wearing a white and black sweater, black jeans, Clear. white skin, black male, running southbound. And the other, the conflict is driving a red Honda, a red vehicle. Black and white sweater. Did we lose the cup? Yeah. Uh, chasing him in a red car. It sounds like she's chasing after the guy in a red car. Clear. I'm going to move this to two. You can fit here on channel one, but I can try to find out for you. I'm going to put the squad, the suspect, in the car. I ran southbound wall. They light to get black now. Oh, is this a robbery? If it is, let's we'll get a perimeter started. Last water beer number. I'm going to go south here. Anyway. Uh, Captain 23rd, 36. It looks like the victim is just took off running on the street after the person who allegedly arrived. Captain 2336. I'm not sure what that meant. The victim is chasing me. with the. Uh, Squads on site. Did we have a description of the suspect at all? I tried listening back to the previous transmission. That was unclear who was being described. Well, we did have one. Two six one on our side. We didn't get a suspect description because our comp just took off running after the person. Somebody said black and white skin. Yeah, okay. White skin, black male. Wearing. Yeah. White skin, black male, black and white sweater. Assuming that's the suspect. So the comp is a male or a female? 261, it's unsure right now. We had a female run to us. She has see long hair, running. black sweatshirt. You guys see anybody running? There's supposed to be a guy running with a gun. Okay, thank you. Then there was a black man with dread, uh, black and white sweatshirt, also running down foot. There's also one of the towns. Well, if they didn't see him, it didn't come down this street, right? Right. Uh, what, two, two, five. So. 225. Just There's a uh, Street West, okay. Seventh Street West, one man down on the ground, no ground. If you ran down the wall, maybe we ran one right to the transit. Huh? Well, we got enough squad cars here. 725th and Broadway, they, um, some citizens said they didn't see anybody run by here. And Metro Transit said they didn't see anyone at 14th, they believe the platform. Something's very strange. See Charlie Hamlin, George Paul, John 556, 5188, so please. Go ahead. Somebody. Yeah. Stop back there. There's a vehicle stopped back there. Alex, let's check it out. Okay. Use the gun. Use the gun to carjack somebody. Mm -hmm. This is weird. Nobody saw anybody running through that big park area. And as you can see, there is a robust presence of police squads down here. Use the tip of the south and probably at the east. Yeah, it's a little bit to the east. There's still people coming here with sirens. Now. the normal corner for homeless people. Yeah, we could the all over it, so... 5180, you want I'm starting to be suspicious of the... 5180. ...original call. Bye. Put me back out at Guitar Center on case number 2102 7898. Okay. Three, six, okay, I'll talk away, 
Fred Lane, Kellogg. 2341. 272, can you expand on line 10? They might not even be around here anymore. Expand on line 10. That's something line 10 in the oh, head. okay. That they probably got in the car and left. <laughs> Copy additional caller stating that somebody stole her firearm and is on the highway. I'm going to have the TCU more additional clarification on that one. 2341. On the highway. You know what? I'm going to call him. Who are you going to call? The number of the caller. Right. 5181, can you tell them they have to go to the next driveway right. north of where they are? Okay. <coughs> Info for squad uh, that comms stating that they're somebody's solar phone is paying to six and the wall. Solar phone. Two six one, a passer by here said he saw the red car go down ninety four east. <laughs> Possibly heard a shot as well. Oh my I don't know. I don't know. Well, Copy red vehicle, so getting on the eastbound 94. This also stated that they may have heard a shot at 2340. Well, that was... We have a lot of little pieces, but... <laughs> so... Sounds like her phone got stolen. It was pinging at 6th and Wall. Maybe she said phone but it was misinterpreted as gun. Maybe this is all over a stolen phone. Yeah, although then she's, somebody it's said they heard a shot. I don't know. I don't know either. I'm, I'm confused. Right, well. 5514. Code box starts at 17 Exchange Street West. Gallery Professional Building System Fire with an investigation. Well, this is where the phone was supposed to be pinging. At that point, we believe there was someone maybe driving it within the car. Or something. Yeah, really good information is everything nowadays. Get your five. Get your five. Go ahead. Good information is everything. Can you 10 9 that last one? Oh, yeah, let's. 17 Exchange Street West, assist fire. Well, there's been an investigation stemming from that. Uh, I'm almost fire. ready for a cherry pie. <laughs> the 2084 is clear. 2240. You know, I really love those. Most of pies, the cherry pies and the apple pies. There's no butt coming, is there? Yeah, there actually is. Oh, stop. They give, me, they give me too much of a sugar rush. Well, what the heck? Yeah. Trying to ruin it for me. <laughs> you know, Chief Axtell, speaking of Chief Axtell, he was on uh, Joe Souchere Garage Logic the other day. Yeah. He did a really, really professional job. I was very impressed. I sent him a text telling him what a great job he did on the Souchere podcast. 535. Us and 535 will be EOT. Have a good night. 21, good night. 184. You know, everybody has good days, middle, middle days, bad days. But he was really on on that podcast. Yeah, if you're interested in hearing it. How's it going tonight? All right. Four, two, five, we'll be here. Were you busy during the game? Was it busy in here during the game? Oh my God, it was nuts just like an hour ago. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I heard that. Yeah, no, it was ridiculous. Like, like an hour ago, we had like four shuttle buses all pull up at once. You did. Yeah, it was fun, though. They were entertaining. Yeah, good for you. Yeah, it's kind of funny how people started leaving before the game was over, and then all of a sudden, it was a tie. They should have stayed. They should have stayed. They missed out. 
The wilder like the Vikings don't come to town until the game's over. Yeah, well, that, this year, right. yeah. In past years, I was I'm not four, so sure. Nobody was too wild about the wild back then, were they? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. Have a good man. one, guys. See you later. Thank you. 287. 287. Anybody else from the 90 OT? Have a great night, 2346. What is tomorrow, Wednesday? Yes. Hey, when is the what next Wild game? You know? At twenty three forty five. I do not see it. You check your phone there. I will. Schedule it. See the Golden Rule? I still got the awning. Remember I was telling you about my mom bringing me down to the Golden Rule. Yep. Come on, you gotta look at it. You gotta pretend you're. See, the golden rule awning is still there in the building. Yes, it is. It's awesome. Okay, can I tell you when the next game is now? <laughs> <laughs> Saturday. Saturday, okay. The Ducks at the Wild. Do they play in between? Are they playing games away or not? Nope. The next so game is Saturday at uh, 5 p.m. Okay. Can we for you? It's a 5 o'clock game, huh? Mm hmm. Try to get tickets for that. Two six one. No, there's not really a bad seat in there. Two six one. Uh uh. That is a beautifully laid out. We're back at the speedway. Oh. We're with the same team all we were here with earlier. We have her in custody right now. Uh, we have a female in custody at 2349. And if you can start better, for an adult female, consciously swinging from her head. What? Sorry, Matter, it's 2349. There's a woman screaming. And it's not for the wild. You can hear it, right? Yeah. I think it's up Wabi Show. Yeah. Clear right. Wild fans. Exuberant wild fans. Well, just for fun, we uh, gotta find out what but, they're uh, doing. Uh, they're, 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 they're walking. Uh, appears to be related to your current call. Uh, an open line of male and female yelling at each other about a stolen gun. They have it in the area of Mariah, 7th. Uh, now, currently, it's actually at 94 and White Bear. Oh, jeez. So that's. That's a related call? Yep. This is like a puzzle, isn't it? I'm telling you. This is like a puzzle. Somebody's got a puzzle. Let's say hi to these folks here. Hi, folks. How are you guys? Taking a smoking break or what? Smoking break or what? Yeah. We. Oh, there was a fire. Yeah, small fire. We don't know. They, no, it was a fire. They sent a squad there to investigate. Must have been some kind of fire. I don't know. Huh? We're with the sheriff's office. We are. Yes, sir. We're here to take care of you, though. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, good one. Good You're one. good. good You're one. good. Good. See you guys. Five oh five wob. What's happening there? Maybe it's related to the fire. Hey, now we gotta probe these wild fans and see. Your case number is two one nine. There we go. Here we go. Two one nine three four two. How did, about the wild? Huh? How about those wild? Did Did you stay to the end? Yes. How come you guys were yelling walking down the street there? What was that about? Why? Just. Why? <laughs> Have a good night, guys. All right, see you guys later. Thanks. Can you serve another rig for an adult female muscle breathing? Oh, my goodness. It is just that Speedway is like the spot tonight. Is that where, that where it's, it's going? I believe so. Two rigs going there now, huh? Yep. Now it says have... there's a female with lacerations. Is the person with the gun is somewhere moving on the freeway or Apparently. Because they got pings from other locations? Yeah. Why didn't the why didn't the female stay there? I don't know. We like puzzles, but Not particularly fond of the jigsaw puzzles. This is, yeah. There's the other rig. This is probably sixes from the west side. Well, what a strange call this one is. I want, I want to hear some more about yelling about a gun at 94 and White Bear. Yeah, I don't know. That all just kind of, I have no idea what's going on. I'll see you there. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I don't, I don't think we're going to get any more information, Pat. I don't either. Well, we got another medic rig here. Twenty six or seven. Twenty six. Can you clear myself in twenty five fifty six from our detail and go ahead and take him off the board? Good. I do apologize for the mix up, but your case number is 219-340. It was a 17th Exchange request, the Gallery Professional Building. Copy, thank you, appreciate it. Oh. 23. That wasn't good. It was like an Alice in Wonderland. Everything was shrinking. We want to find out what the heck is going on here. I don't know. At, that the, gonna... at, at the hoppinest spot in St. Paul I tonight. I don't know if we're going to get that. It's not Club Holiday either. So here you are, Speedway. Formerly Super America, for those of you that still have Super Americas. Looks like a lot of explaining going on. There's lots of explaining to do. There's Action Alex. Probably Action Alex in the middle of it. Have a good night. Find your YouTube. Well, try to make some sense of it for us. You got some explaining to do. 
I was at a family <laughs> barbecue, but so what happened here was evidently her gun got stolen yesterday. Yesterday, okay. In West. Okay. And she's been tracking the perpetrators a, all that, day. Well, how has she been doing that? Because her phone got we stolen. We haven't with, quite determined how her she's phone been. got stolen with the gun or not. I don't. Know. There's a lot of. They're still working through. People, when they, as you guys know, when people get have stuff happen, they go to about 100 miles an hour, and then you have to wait for about three renditions of the story to get down into the 20s and the 10s, where you can start getting the okay. little details. So, well, give us the best rendition now you have. So, so gun got stolen yesterday in West. They somehow have been tracking the perpetrators. They thought they saw them here. The kid took off running, cell phone on wall. The kid that they think is the perpetrator? Correct. Not then, in a car? Well, well, well they lost him. They started thinking that he might have jumped into a car, so they followed a car. They're not sure if it's his or not. Oh, okay. But what's this information about 3rd and Mariah and White Bear 94 that we heard on the, the air? The rapid light phone was pinging, so they were driving around. And then rapid so the, what? The dispatch was pinging the phone when you call 911. It automatically gives you Her location. phone? Yeah. So I'm assuming with the buildings uh, down here and stuff, that tends to screw with their... But she was looking for the other guys. She drove right. around. And then the, the third and Mariah had 157 meters from that location. Oh, so so. We, but we don't have a ping on the bad guys. Correct. It okay. was her 911 call in the dispatch they were Now, who got lacerations? Was that something different? That's some other, some totally other event. That's what <laughs> this but, is a happening But they spot. did say they had the complainant in custody at some point, right? That was the other DOC that they had a trespassing on. So this is not related there to, this okay. lady's not in custody. The other right. DOC is in custody. Okay. So we've got a trespassing, someone with lacerations on their face, a stolen gun being tracked. That's it so far? And the wild one in overtime. Oh, and the wild one. Well, yeah. And if, if we had any sense, we'd go in and get a hostess cherry pie. But we're going to go someplace else for help. Thank you. Gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> well. <coughs> well. How you doing? much for straightforward cases. It's good we got a little clarity from Alex. I'd hate to be the one writing this report. I wonder if the I wonder how long the scooters are out in the winter. Got any idea? I do not. Anyone know how uh, how long the scooters stay out? Three two seven is three six one available to take four. Spot three six one. Can you take four? Go to four. <coughs> See, it's close enough to a full moon that it's true. You think that's it? That's it. Well, it is. I, I actually, though, yes, they're weird calls, but it's very slow. Yeah. I'll give you the weird call, thing. but maybe that's the calm before the full moon. Could be. Well put, Dave. That was a serpentine story. <laughs> well, what was that from in laws? Robert, what's his name? Serpentine? Serpentine, serpentine. Serpentine. There were some good old movies, actors in those good old days. Definitely. I gotta say, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. I don't like scary Halloween shows. No, I do. I, I can't lie. You like them, huh? Yep, I do. Even the new ones with all the gore and stuff. Ah, uh, not when they're too too gory. But 
terror, terrifying, yes, but not too boring. So like the Jason, the, the now Jason. that's uh, that's too much. Hey, Thank you, Say it again. Oh, well, we got time, but we got we'll probably run into people that would benefit from it. Thank you. Are you working tonight? Just so you know, we give everything we get, we give away and more. But we appreciate people's donations. Oh wow. Oh yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. You working or are you just getting off? A little of both? You just getting off or are you working? Yeah, I'm just getting off. I saw you guys coming down. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. What is your name again? Jeremy. Yeah, that's right, Jeremy. Thank you very much. I didn't recognize you with your uniform. No, I think those out there. Kind of slow out tonight, huh, Jeremy? Yeah, they might have fell out tonight. Yeah, thanks for those gift cards, buddy. Oh, they're in there somewhere. Yeah, it's nice and quiet tonight. Yeah. We'll find them. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks Have a lot. A good night. Thank you. Thank you. That was nice. Very kind of him. Jeremy, thank you very much. Thanks, Tanya. Scooters stay out until after the second snowfall. Good to know. Halloween shows or yeah, not shows. the gory ones, but I like like the original Halloween. Yeah, well now we're on Halloween, I, I, Halloween fifteen or something. Yeah, or what? yeah, really. It, it, there is a new one coming out actually. Yeah, it's really bad. It's got uh, but, Jamie Lee Curtis in it, right? Yeah, but the suspense part of it is what I like. Yeah, I don't even like the suspense part. I can live with the suspense from Jaws. Uh, Jackson, Maryland Avenue East, uh, one caller but, for a five shots fired. Uh, search the copy as well. Jackson and Maryland, five shots fired. Copy and Alex from what's up? Uh, I mean, I know they're very popular, but you know, I was driving around the other night and I ran into a car little of kids. I asked them if they're going to go home watch TV, and the whole car load was big on this new series called Squid Game. I've heard something about that. And apparently it's Korean-based Oh, movie. yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, everybody competes in this game, and they die. And the game kills you if you do something wrong. Actually, I'm not sure exactly what I'm talking about. But I know there's a lot of death every every week, and uh, but they they were just raving about the show. Apparently, it's a brand new series, and uh, I mean I don't I don't like senseless death myself. No, no. But and by I, the way, I, I, I saw. The by the way, speaking of senseless deaths, I did see James Bond last couple of days, and I knew he was going to die. But I didn't mind him dying when he saved the world. Okay, don't tell me anymore. You saved the world. No, come on. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. I mean, I told you last week he died because some. I mean, everybody knows he dies in it, but but he has to die doing something meritorious. 
saving the world. And you know what's funny about this? Okay, I'm just gonna say this. There's symbolism and everything, right? Okay. Who was the original James Bond? Um. Was there somebody before Connery? No, I think that was him. Yeah, I think Sean so. Sean Connery, too. okay. The original James Bond, all right? Sean Connery. And do you remember Sean Connery in the Alcatraz movie? Oh, yeah, The Rock. The Rock. And do you remember what happens at the end? Vaguely. Well, it was, it was like James Bond... Sean Connery standing on this island that's about to get missileized. Oh, yeah. By uh, Ed oh, Harris. I don't think any, yeah, but the same thing happens. I think there's a domestic going on here. This guy wants to. Well, we just have to visit with these people. He obviously lost his shirt. Do you think he gambled it away? <laughs> She's. Back on the that we were on previously. Copy, I will go ahead and reopen the door. Thank you. Well, we just gotta swing by and ask her if everything's alright. Everything okay? Did he gamble his shirt away or what? She had his clothes. Didn't get physical at all? Yeah. Yes. Someone was on Highway 96. That's a nice she car. They put out nice looking cars. 91-71, all back. Thank you much. Have a minute. What's happening? Kellogg and 7th? She's here. You're there. This is Kellogg and 7th. The 21? Oh, the bus? Do you know where that picks up? No, but isn't it? No, but... I think well, it... everything picks up eventually downtown at 5th and Minnesota. 5th and Minnesota, they all pick up that. Go straight down this way to Minnesota, which is about four blocks. Yeah. And take a right two blocks. Okay. Well, hold, on, hold on a second, though. You know, you can look up the 21 schedule on your phone, right? Come on over here for a minute. We don't want to send you someplace that you might end up in trouble. So let me see what you got on your on the 21 schedule. I'm on it, too, right here. Yeah. It says see. show my bus. Yeah. It says seventh and then I see Kellogg too. That's the that's the bus route there? Yep. But how do I get more light? Swipe down? No. Can you give me uh, more can, Yeah. See, will you <laughs> give me a little more light for the old guy? Alright, now you're talking girl. Alright, so that's where they're seeing the 21 is. Where, where are you ultimately headed? 
Over in South Minneapolis. Yeah, so you're gonna go Lake Street, Marshall Lake? Yep. All right, well, that's all downtown stuff, so. 160. 160. 60, 10, 7 on your first All right, so. Okay. It does look like your bus is supposed to. Exhale Energy Center, the bus is supposed to pick up right up here. You see it over there? Right up there? Here, here's where you are, right here. We're right on this corner here. You can walk up there to catch the bus. Hi. Hi. Good, how are you? I'm all right. Can we speak to so you're going to get, on the, you're gonna get on the freeway? Does your bus get on the freeway? No. Okay. Cool. That's all right. It goes up the hill and then it goes down lakes. Down, down lakes. Oh, okay. Okay. How's it going, buddy? How you been, bro? Good. Nice to see you. I'm helping this young lady. There's a bus stop right over there, isn't there? Have a good night. The other side of this? This is the XL Energy Center. Yeah, but see, here's the deal. You see this map right here? We're right here at this corner, right there. That's the XL Energy Center. And one block over that way, the bus stops. You could go straight ahead here. You could go one block here, one block there. It looks like it picks up in all three locations. You okay. follow me? Yeah, I'm gonna go this way because we'll just go to one more block down and maybe you'll catch it. But then take Problem a don't don't go any further because you'll you'll Problem get off the well well you can you can go further if you want. But yeah, go one block straight ahead and then look for the 21. It looks like it comes back this way on seven. You follow me? It comes toward you. Okay. One block ahead. All, All right. right. Thank All you. right. Yeah. Good luck. Good, luck. good night. Thank you bet. problem is this road construction here. I don't know if that bus is going to come through here. <coughs> That's why I think maybe she's better off on the other one. In theory, you see how the bus doesn't get through there? is going to be a lot more miserable tomorrow than it was today. Yeah, now. for sure. To the LAC, no updates on that shot's fired. I just don't know. How, I don't know how late this bus is running here. No, I'm not sure anymore. I mean, I mean, I'm sure they're still running, but, but not very often. Forty-four eighty-three, investigate. Forty-four eighty-three. I'll be at Western Hills Park with zero zero six seven five five seven six. You can call it a night anytime. You gotta get up early in the morning. Western Hills Park, fifteen minutes. No, you you work for uh, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't have to be there as early as you. We're gonna make a trip up Rice Street and then hit the hey, suburbs and call it a night. Thanks. Good night. Good night. See ya.
21 bus is delayed. It's going to be there in seven minutes, somebody said. So that'll work out just right. Thanks, Kristen. We got, a, we got a great team here in the back seat. You put us on a PC at HQ. Mike Mayer, if you asked a question, ask it again. Copy on HQ. These comments scroll by fast and furious. We don't always see them. In fairness, I never see them. Probably see five percent. Really? Yep. The twenty for you from the alarm. Hey, this capital looks great from every angle. Very impressive. Set to a nice response area. Seventeen minutes. So, right behind the capital is this new. Uh, state office building really I think it's the Senate office building and that's in this building is where the Thursday hearing will be the joint meeting of the Senate Judiciary Public Safety and Transportation just on University Avenue here in Park just north of the Minnesota State Capitol 95 University Avenue West I'm assuming it'll be open to the public, but probably also broadcast online. Code for 18 minutes. Scooter. I think this is going to be the like the second night I've drunk an entire Mountain Dew while I've been out here. Thirsty tonight. Oh, Thirsty tonight. Street tonight, but just to give you a picture of how slow it is in the city, check out Club Holiday on a Tuesday night. Yeah, you idea. The only people here are the tankology people. I don't know if related, but stop in Edward Paul Zebra 626, Snelling B Boy, uh, West Snelling. <coughs> it is. I've never seen it this quiet here. Anyone said Ever. Courtesy transport at all male and all female to 4540 Gray Street, starting at 34.1. I just, we just got to not work on Tuesdays. 20 minutes. We can work the next day. Because they know that is. Hump day. Hump day, there you go. Just doing it here, we're going for an hour later. Probably not related to Oops. Hi, Susie. Final 
9171. Oh, thanks, Dale. You just posted the arrival link to be able to watch the uh, hearing on YouTube. 21 minutes. The disorderly and the robbery are two separate instances. Is that accurate? Did somebody, somebody say something? Somebody, somebody, somebody like they said. Take primary on both? I can't tell if they said something or if they were... I thought they said Bob. I thought they did too, but then... I don't know. You know who had the robbery? Might have been the window rolling down. Look at the windows can make noises. Oh, yeah. well, relatively quiet Ooh. here at Florence. What's going on tonight? Anything? Okay. What's up? I'm doing good. You guys just saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finished up out of the club, man. Having fun for the moment. It's the weekend. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It, the weekend starts on Tuesday. I see you around here. The weekend? Yeah. Yeah, uh, you're working up to the weekend. You know what tomorrow is, don't you? Hump day. It's hump day tomorrow. Hey, are you still on? You guys take be, take care. See you. See you guys. I remember hearing a call that yesterday or the day before about somebody getting a gun stolen from them. See that gentleman walking right there? <laughs> no, I didn't. With the baseball hat? Remember that woman sitting at the bus stop back there by the auto shop? Did you see her? Wait for a minute. No, I didn't. I bet they're connected. Okay. I don't know. I just... Uh, not that it's any of our business. But, you know, it's just... A clandestine meeting? No, no, I think they had an argument of some sort. And she said... You keep walking. He's wa he's walking with a mission. Like he's been. Uh, he was at the wild okay. game. <laughs> she just didn't fit in on that bus down there. It didn't make any. That bus stop. Looked like she had been at the wild game too. But it's like the other couple that was arguing over something. And she had his shirt. He gave her the shirt off his back. Oh. She must have, she was obviously bar bargaining with the shirt. But I'm sure she had good reason. Well, let's see what this little abandoned car is doing. Eat 948. Hi! How's it going? Using the bathroom? Oh, right there. Smart. I like it. Is there no lock on it? Oh, right, that's good to know for future, future reference. Thank you. Hey, have a good night. You do. Yeah, I'm always looking for open outhouses. New message. <laughs> Absolutely. Half of them construction zone. They lock them up. I might have caught up to us. Well, I guess 
we might try to slow this guy down. Now, did he have a Jason mask on? A what? Jason mask. You know one of those? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think he did. Of course I really mean it when I say have a good night. Did they think you sounded like you didn't mean it? I, I hope I sound sincere, because I am. You do. To those guys we were talking to? Yeah. Yeah, we had no reason not to. Tuesday afternoon. Oh, yeah. Nice Monday, Monday. Street for backyard fire <laughs> causing a lot of smoke. Can't get that. Copy. 27 minutes. But Monday morning came with a warning. I know I don't have all the words right. Yeah, I I love it when I hear it, but I, I'm bad at remembering words, so oh, it's I'm terrible. horrible. My wife is awesome at it. And you know, my wife also remembers, well, she reads a lot, so she, <coughs> she remembers who's dating who and how long and when. <laughs> <laughs> he knows it all. Well, the foundry's open still, and they got a food truck out there. Speaking of those perimeters, you know, that you were talking about earlier, setting a perimeter, and I was talking to some Minneapolis guys, and he said, a lot of nights, they don't have enough cars to do perimeters. So you can't really stop people from running and try to go corral them. Unacceptable. Just don't have enough bodies even to set a perimeter. Think about that. Stopped up at White Bear Lake today for a little bit. Yeah. That water was just crystal stop. It was just beautiful. The only the only thing missing was the trees hadn't really changed yet. She was by the Burger King on Robert. What else do we have to report this week? Definitely uh, the 
deputy and my team getting shot at this thing. Low point. Forty-four eighty-three. Well, I think really, I think the low point was your Mitsubishi maxing out at one ten. <laughs> Well, the Impala was up at 130. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, they ran three red lights in a row. It's a miracle they didn't cream anybody. Alright, well. I don't think I'm going to get my pie tonight, but my wife got it. Got some groceries today, so. One seventeen. With one hundred and one to copy shots fired, Homo Avenue and U of M Transit Way. This came from the U of M dispatch for six or seven shots fired. Heard. Time delay two minutes. Nothing else seen or heard. Just a single report at this time. One twenty copy. Copy. One Yeah, a year ago today there were eight inches of snow we got. No. Yep. Really. And here we are, sixty. Is that right? Sixty-seven degrees. Fifty-seven degrees. Six inches of snow. Eight inches. Just airing information, we have a call St. Paul West, Como, and it's U of M Transit Way for six or seven shots heard two minutes ago. Oh, that's good. That's our state fair car. 72 copy, I'll be in the area. U of M, police are also responding as well. Very good. Just additional info for squads, 288 responding 459 Robert Street South. Uh, someone stating that they have the comps firearm suspect is a Fred or Central Black Mount. Five foot three, thin build, wearing a gray sweater. Uh, currently has the comps handgun in this. Plot. On a porch near the call address. Oh my it's goodness. unclear if it's entirely related. It keeps to, going and going. On the call at Speedway, I will try to get clarification. <laughs> Just copy that. That is in relation to our call. Thirty-four minutes. The person with the gun is supposedly fourteen years old. I think we mentioned uh, the Roseville Middle School had a young man with a gun. No, we didn't. We didn't talk about that. Uh, a couple of days ago, was it? Was it yesterday? I'll tell you, it runs together. Maybe, yeah, I think it was yesterday. Yesterday morning, a young man at Roseville Middle School had a gun. Thankfully, he did not have the magazine. Thirteen-year-old huh. young man. Well, that's pretty scary. Yes, it is, and depressing. I mean, we do mention the incident, but you know, there's a thousand good things going on in those schools at the same time. Absolutely. A thousand good things. So for those of you that know, um, 
for the last year and a half, I've been working on starting a charter school with uh, a number of other leaders in education. And it's coming to culmination now. And tomorrow you are gonna see a press release on our school. Nice. And tentatively, we're hoping to move into the old St. Columbus school put ours back in pending. over there near where Hamlin right here with them. and Thomas. Hamlin Thomas, Hamlin Minnehaha, right in that area yep. there. I think it might be on Van Buren, Hamlin Van Buren, but St. Columbus School. You saw yesterday a number of schools are closing. Um, Galtier is one of them. We we're hoping to serve some of the children in that area as well. But it's the School of Leadership in Public Service, and we're going to expose kids to a wide variety of public service careers, but also uh, going to be unique in terms of parental involvement in the school, sort of the expectations of the kids, and of course it's going to be a safe work environment, what I've found out in my research, there are a lot of schools that kids don't feel safe, they don't feel like they can actually focus on school because of tension and other issues. And we're going to make resolving that a top priority, and uh, obviously have a law enforcement presence and role modeling in there, as well as a number of other public service occupations. So we'll be issuing a press release on that tomorrow. I, I hope you'll follow. And in Backseaters, we're going to be looking for a number of volunteers to come and help us get some one-on-one -on -one time with kids that need homework after school and be able to do uh, form some clubs where kids can can uh, have a social life with friends but also a constructive after school social life you that's know, awesome we've been doing after school programs for a number of years and at some point we just decided if if you're going to really help kids it can't just be an hour and a half or two after school it needs to be a uh, sort of a culture of learning and, and uh, achievement. In a safe environment. In a safe environment. So, and we know there are many, many parents right now that want some strong leadership in schools. And a part of it goes to the same old issue of accountability. You know, there, there needs to be accountability. There can be rehabilitation and redirection. No one says people need to get kicked out of school. But if you never hold anyone accountable, they're going to continue repeating the same destructive behavior. It's inevitable. Yeah. So you'll hear about that, but read the uh, article in the TwinCities.com and the Pioneer Press. Um, read that and understand, you know, what's happening. What's happening with the uh, juvenile justice system? And, had breakfast with Pastor Pittman this morning from the NAACP, and he was at our breakfast meeting. He used to work at Totem Town, and he was talking about what great impact he had on the kids when he was working there, and how he really would like to be part of our committee. And we're just, for those of you that are wondering, we're just finalizing our list of people to be on our committee to revamp the juvenile justice. I mean, different than John Choi's program. Ours is really looking for ways that we can actually provide some service to children that can help them change course. They need a time out. They need to get away from their drug of choice. They need to get away from their friends. They need to get away from the violence on the street. So anyhow, we'll report on more of this. We might be back before Friday, but for sure, for sure Friday, Friday night. Otherwise, uh, you know, tell your friends, please follow the Live on Patrol page so we can make sure that you're notified when we do go live. And, and again, on the comments, let's let's be kind and not derogatory and silver Chevy that's coming out of wood might be the car.
Gotcha. Before that silver car pulling out on the uh, area here, it might have George in it. Got be 10 to. Suspect supposed to be a 15 year old black male, 5'3", skinny, wearing a gray hoodie and black blue jeans. Is this the guy with the gun? Mm -hmm. He didn't turn himself on. No, I think it was the woman calling on him again. Oh. So, so however it is, she's tracking. Copy, copy, copy. Yeah. Copy, copy, copy. All right, backseaters, just remember to be kind in your comments. It's tempting all the time to just twist the knife, but. Try not to. It doesn't do anybody any good. If you if you can't win on the merits of an argument, not worth trying to go to the next level. So. Make your point and move on. No no sense in bickering back and forth. So. All right, Pat. Why don't you wrap it up here? It's All right, folks. Thanks for. Thanks for being with us on this pop-up live on patrol on a Tuesday night. The Minnesota Wild came back from a deficit, tied it in the last 57 seconds, and won it in overtime. Go Wild! All right, folks. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time we go live Friday for sure. Just maybe, just maybe, before. Continue to be kind, please. Good night, folks.